Hi, I'm Jimmy Norris with ElkHuntersGuide.com. This is the second video in a three video series on elk hunting boots and taking good care of your feet. You know, I can't stress enough just how important it is to take good care of your feet when you're elk hunting. Because if you don't, it's gonna ruin your hunt. If you have sore feet and you can't hike, you can't hunt. And I don't want you to ruin your elk hunting adventure just because you didn't get good boots or you didn't take care of your feet. So I put this video series together with you in mind. If you didn't see the last video in the series, I'd recommend that you go to my website at elkhuntersguide.com if you're not already there and watch that video. It was the five essential features of a good elk hunting boot. Now today, I don't want to talk about essentials, I want to talk about options. You know, I'm sure you've probably heard the story of uh, Henry Ford and his Model T. He said that his customers could get a Model T in any color they wanted, just as long as it was black. Well, you have a lot more options than that when it comes to buying elk hunting boots these days. So what I want to talk about today is the five choices you need to make when it comes to elk hunting boots. The first choice you're going to have to make when it comes to an elk hunting boot is material. Now the reality is most elk hunting boots these days are made of leather. Leather is kind of the ideal material because it's rugged and it's flexible and it's somewhat breathable. But boot makers these days are often adding in other materials which you need to decide if that's what you want or not. Now these other materials can be man-made materials like this old boot of mine. It had man-made material around the toe, but as you can see, the material was not nearly as rugged as the leather material, and it didn't last nearly as long. Now, one of the man-made materials that you might find is a nylon mesh panel in the side of the boot. They're typically um, installed in the boot in an area that doesn't take much wear, and uh, they provide ventilation to keep your feet cooler. That's what I really like about these boots, is they, uh, they have that nylon mesh panel that, that ventilates the boot really well. Now you might be wondering, well, what about my rubber boots that I wear to my deer stand? Can I just wear those? I wouldn't recommend those. Typically they're not good to, uh, to walk in, but also the uh, rubber is not gonna be breathable at all. And so you need boots that are, are breathable because as you're walking, all that activity is going to create perspiration and you need that perspiration to, to leave your feet so that your feet can stay as dry as possible and as uh, warm or as cool as possible, steady temperature. Okay, so that's the first choice that you're going to have to make is do you want a boot that is full leather? That's fine, especially for late season hunting. Or do you want a boot that has nylon mesh panels in it for ventilation if you're going to be hunting when the weather's a little bit warmer? So that's a choice you're going to have to make is the material on your boot. The second choice you're going to have to make when it comes to uh, buying a pair of elk hunting boots is boot height. Now, I prefer a taller boot because it provides more ankle support and uh, it tends to be warmer and it prevents dirt and debris from getting in the top of the boot. So I like a taller boot. Now some people like a shorter boot that's a more hiking style, um, like this old boot of mine. Now the uh, shorter boots I think are fine for hiking or even backpacking when you're on a trail, but the reason I don't like them for hunting is for those reasons I mentioned. The shorter boot uh, will uh, not keep the dirt and debris out. And if you're backpacking along a trail where there's not much dirt and debris kicked up, that's fine. But if you're going cross country like you typically are in elk hunting, uh, then the taller boot is better in that regard. But it may be just whatever you're used to. So a lot of guys like a shorter boot and that's fine. It's a choice you're going to have to make. 
The third choice you're going to have to make when you're uh, buying elk hunting boots is do you buy insulated boots or uninsulated boots? Now, temperatures for elk hunts can range anywhere from the high 80s to down below zero. So a lot of your choice depends upon what kind of hunting you're doing. Personally, I hunt early season archery hunts and I tend to uh, uh, prefer my non-insulated boots. Now they're more breathable and uh, they ventilate well and my feet <coughs> perspire less in them. But I also wear a couple pair of uh, merino wool socks with them. So I can actually wear the same boots in much colder weather and my feet still stay warm. But I do a lot of active hunting and so that really requires less insulation. Um, so if you're going to be hunting in colder temperatures or you're not going to be as active, you may consider buying some insulated boots. Typically they're insulated with Thinsulate insulation or something similar and um, it comes in different weights, um, anywhere from like 200 grams up to say 1200 grams. Uh, and the more grams obviously the more insulation there is to keep your feet warm. Um, so it's good when it's really cold or you're not being very active and they're actually really flexible in that um, even if the temperatures get warmer you may not be uncomfortably warm in them. I had a friend that I hunted with uh, in early season September in very warm weather and he was wearing uh, 800 gram insulated boots and I asked him if, if his feet weren't just way too warm and he said no he was comfortable so that insulation can kind of tend to keep your uh, feet at a stable temperature you now if you're going to be hunting in extreme temperatures or, ex or deep snow you might consider a pair of snow packs these are some uh, these are my snow packs and they uh, are rubber bottom and leather top and have a removable wool uh, liner and so if you're hunting in in deep snow or very cold weather this is a really good option to keep your feet warm while you're hunting so you need to decide what kind of hunting are you doing do you need insulated boots can you get away with uninsulated and just some good thick socks that's a choice you're gonna have to make the fourth choice you're gonna have to make is what size of boot to wear. My dad used to tell a story about a guy that wore size 8 shoes but he tried on size 9's and they felt so good that he bought size 10's. Well you're gonna have to be a little bit more careful when you choose your size for elk hunting boots. One year I ordered a pair of boots online and when they came in and I tried them on they fit a little more snugly than I normally wear um, like for my boots but I thought I could get away with it instead of wearing two pair of socks like I normally do I could just wear one pair of socks and they'd be all right so I wore them that year for elk hunting and I did okay uh, I had to wear only specific socks with them for them to be comfortable and um, I got by well the next year decided to go on a backpacking trip with my son in Yellowstone and I wore those same boots and with the, all the extra weight and the, the mountains I was climbing, it just made my feet miserable. I got blisters and my toes turned black. So if your boots are too small, that's what's going to happen. You're going to wear blisters on them and you're gonna, uh, your toes are going to turn black and maybe even the nails fall off. So if they're too big, then your feet are going to slide around inside them and that can give you blisters and it can actually wear out the liner of your boots. So your Gore-Tex liner will wear out and then your boots are going to start leaking. So it's important, obviously, that you have the right size boots. Now, when you're buying the boots, make sure you try them on first, wearing the socks that you're going to wear while you're hunting. If that's one pair, two pair, wear those exact same socks. So lace up the boots and make sure your toes uh, can wiggle easily and make sure you're not sliding around in the boot. And if you're, uh, if you're in that situation, then you're probably going to be pretty good. Some people have a bigger left foot than a right foot or vice versa. And if that's the case, 
<clears throat> then it may be hard to get a pair of boots that fit. If, if you have that situation, then buy the bigger pair, fit to your uh, larger foot, and then just wear an extra sock if you need to in the other boot to make sure that they fit well. But regardless of how you do it, you need to make sure you get a good fit on your boots. That's the fourth choice that you're going to have to make, is what size. So the fifth choice you're going to have to make when it comes to buying elk hunting boots is what brand do you buy? Now it's a very important choice because the brand typically determines the quality of the boots and the price. And those are big factors in buying your elk hunting boots. So I would recommend that you stay away from companies that are boot marketers, not boot makers. You know what I mean. There's a lot of companies out there that sell everything from camo to backpacks to underwear and boots. And the reality is they don't make those boots. They are made by somebody else and they just market them. So I would recommend that you go with a company that is a boot maker because they're more likely to ensure that they're good quality boots because their entire reputation is on the boots that they sell. So the, there's several different companies out there. The boots that I wear are made by Danner. Uh, they're not the most expensive, but they uh, are not cheap either. Uh, they're good quality and I think a reasonable price and I've been really happy with them. But there's other companies out there that I'm hearing that people like really well uh, that make good boots. They're uh, made by Kinetrek or Crispy or Schneez. Uh, my uh, snow packs are Schneez boots and I can vouch for the quality of them. They're excellent and uh, I assume that their uh, leather elk hunting boots are good too. So that's the choice you're going to have to make is what brand uh, are you going to choose and you know, how much are you willing to pay for them. There you have it. The five choices that you're going to have to make when buying elk hunting boots. The material, the height, insulated or not insulated, the size, and the brand. You make good choices on those and you're going to be a happy hunter. Well, I hope you've found this video helpful. Are those the choices you would make when you're choosing an elk hunting boot? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Either way, scroll on down and leave me a comment. I really do appreciate your feedback. And if you haven't been over to my website at elkhuntersguide.com and gotten your free download of elk hunting tips, do that now. You can also watch the video there of the first video in the series of the five essential features in elk hunting boots and watch for your the next video in this series of how to take good care of your feet while you're elk hunting so until next time shoot straight